Hey everybody and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Finally, um, after a few days of a break, so to say, um, with the li little update video last week on Fortress Camelot, we are here in a new Planet Coaster video and surprise, surprise, it's a new mini-series, um, which is already finished at the time I am uh, talking to you now is basically the time I have already finished the whole project because this is the project for the Planet Coaster competition from the Vintage DLC which is basically stopped today. So once this video is live uh, the deadline for um, kind of you know, having your entry park is already done. So what was the task? Uh, it was pretty simple. We should build a park which contains at least a flat ride, a coaster and some vintage DLC assets. Um, and with flat ride and coaster I mean some of the DLC. And um, as you know me, I am not the one that goes in with uh, the most obvious solution, building a pleasure pier kind of style one um, or whatever that would be about because Planet Coaster told in the uh, competition that they uh, opened uh, have some uh, entry tickets for the Planet Coaster Pier, which is um, not non-existent, I should say, um, and they wanted to have us build this one, and yeah, that's basically what you would do normally, build a pier and put those little things on top of it. Um, not saying that those people doing a pier at the moment uh, do something weird or something, uh, it's just that I felt there's already too much going on with it, and I wanted to do something else, and uh, by saying something else I am doing something completely different like seriously completely different as you can see already I'm kind of doing something very unusual at the moment because I'm building something very very huge I have to say and uh, this is basically just the scene for everything because the basic idea and you may have seen this in a cinematic already I'm not quite sure if I'm able to do the cinematic um, today so maybe you have seen that maybe not uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, if if so it's just a very short one uh, if not uh, yeah, here we go with the first let's play video oh, no it's not a let's play it's a, basically the let's build or build or the making of or I don't know um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just, I need to get used to commentaries again, because there's been a bit of a break re recently of doing commentaries, uh, which is down to the fact that I finished off my Master Series, finally, um, I'll be able to print that one in two days, so it's finally entirely done. Um, this kind of formal stuff always takes ages, so uh, even though I said a few weeks ago that I'm finished, I was finished actually, but all this kind of formal stuff, putting in the literature sources and, and you know, the index and uh, the appendix and everything like that, oh, it takes hours and hours and hours, actually it takes days, anyways. Um, yeah, what I wanted to do is I wanted to build a vintage styled space park which is I think Fock was actually the one to describe it the best way it's kind of a Futurama vibe to it um, so I wanted to build something that is fairly unique but still vintage looking so it, it, it is kind of a um, floating island or uh, floating planet if you will um, which is uh, also you can see that from the name of the series it's called Planetorama um, or Planetorama I don't even know how I call this uh, in the end um, just in you know um, to, to be a little bit uh, referring to Futurama because I think it's a style that hasn't been done too much I have started to do something like that in my Camel Studios and I was enjoying it so much that I I finally thought okay I, I'd love to do something more with it and not only for studios and then the competition came and I was like, yeah, that could be a good solution. Um, and I actually made my life a bit more complicated than I, I usually would. Um, because I wanted to have this all in a very tilt look. As you can see, I'm preparing at the moment um, the floating floating land or whatsoever. And you can already see from uh, the pass I'm, I'm building over there. This whole thing is to be built uh, in this kind of tilt uh, look. So as you can see right now, I'm preparing the overall... Um, yeah, kind of. I don't even know how to call this. Uh, let's call it planet for the, for the moment, because otherwise, uh, this this will lead to a confusion throughout the whole series, which will contain about. Uh, let me have a look. I think five, maybe six uh, episodes, which will be 
um, in the next couple of days already so I, I won't let you wait too long for it. it I think it will fill the next uh, one and a half weeks maybe so you have constant planet coaster uploads ready and if you want to follow that and haven't subscribed yet please consider hitting the subscribe button um, at the moment you can see it's, it's not too it's not too crazy but it's all a bit preparation status at the moment um, and since I wanted to have some some water in I, I needed to figure how to put actually some water in this tilt area because it's, it was kind of tricky to to be honest to to get some water in I, um, in the end I got I managed to at least have some water in and I will manage to to make it look kind of decent in the end I have to say and yeah uh, to get things started I used the asset from um, which I've already done in uh, Camel Studios and and put them in and I used them here but don't worry we will be using a lot of new things in the next episodes as well so it's it's not as if we would only borrow stuff from other things so it's um, it's kind of a fairly unique build in the end I have to say it's it looks completely different from what I usually do it's not as much detailed as I usually do which is cool because um, since this all will be in uh, entirely dark later on because we will basically make it pitch black um, with a uh, cave around this whole thing it um, turned out to be very interesting looking because uh, the details you put in are kind of um, improved or not improved they're highlighted by the level of lighting so actually the way I use the lighting later on defines how much detail you put in I talked about that already of in the making of of the last dark ride I made um, the, the cool thing about dark rides and dark scenes in Planet Coaster is that you don't really need that much detail to make things um, look actually very detailed because you can also play around with lighting which is very cool um, to save some polys and still make it very um, crowdy and very detailed looking so in the end this this whole build looks very crowdy and and very unorganized and, and very futurama is futurama rich if that's even a word I have no idea that seems weird um, but yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with the end result I have to say it's something completely off the chart it's completely different than what we do usually and um, it will also go straight into the workshop after the competition so after the let's build uh, you'll be able to download this from the workshop I don't even know if you're already because I have to upload this one and then send this to Frontier I have no idea potentially you are and then you will find this down below in the description if not you won't find this in the description so I'm sorry um, yeah as you can see right now I am placing the bus ride and the bus ride is something very special about this one uh, because actually there won't be any opportunity for the people to come into the park other than the bus ride so they will have to use the bus ride to get into this little floating island and I was surprised but it worked um, and this is kind of something I have tested before which is which is funny enough that it works but uh, it's actually good to know so um, when the whole thing is pitch black and uh, you can't even see the track it really seems as if the bus would fly through the space uh, and then just land here on the landing pad so in the end it will also be styled like a landing pad and then it's very cool to see that this little bus let's call it spaceship is kind of entering this hangar and and just sets people free into this little uh, theme park and uh, people have to stay here they can only use the bus ride to get back um, what I find I think it's really cool it gives the whole thing a little bit of a nice touch um, and also a little dynamic that makes the whole thing actually pretty cool I have to say um, yeah then about this bobsled coaster I do have to say that this one is completely fictional complete well it is fictional in a game but it, it's completely completely random there there was nothing realistic about this one. I mean hell that's something which is floating in space uh, so you know there is I, I should have even put the friction off or whatsoever just use the friction slider and put it to zero friction because it's space but hey I mean you know it's I don't know we can at least argue that with the floating island there's a bit of atmosphere I have no idea but um, this whole thing is just in here because I, I still like the look of the coaster itself I, I think the the coaster just looks nice you know with all the, the wooden elements and stuff and I just wanted to have this curve around this island a bit um, just to have this ride in and then have just like at least one coaster to appeal people so I, I just really think that this is uh, a cool addition uh, even though as I said it's completely far away from being any realistic so don't get me wrong it's just a random coaster uh, everybody else could have built um, there's no real no real approach to it which which would maybe just 
kind of know. I don't know which has a reason why it is the way it is. There is no reason about this. It's just, it's just how it is. Just because I wanted it to have it in. I think that's the only reason. Anyways, so that's already it with the end of the first episode, guys. Uh, as I said, there is no long wait for you guys until the next episode. Just keep your eyes open for the channel. I think on Saturday maybe you get the next episode already. Until then, stay tight, have a good day, and as always, if you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what is your most favorite uh, character from Futurama, by the way, because I forgot to ask that before. Or uh, if you have even watched Futurama, if so, let me know in the comments down below. If not, tell me why not. Um, and and uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and have a good day. See you then and bye bye. Would you be hiding out wherever we may find?